we just reached 1000 subscribers. I just want to say thank you to everyone who subscribed to my channel, liked my videos, and a special thank you to everyone who leaves comments on my videos. You guys are the best and make my day every day. So, in this video, I'm giving everyone presents. Fishing present locations in Stardew Valley, that is. Added in the latest 1.5 update, you can now get secret presents from fishing at odd locations. I will show you every present and where to get it. Alrighty, let's get started. Let's start with the most interesting and intricate secret fishing present, the Iridium Crobus. To get your hands on the Iridium Crobus, you will need to be level 10 fishing. So keep fishing until you get level 10. Then you need to cook sea foam pudding. Sea foam pudding needs a squid ink, a midnight carp, and a flounder to be cooked. But there's a problem. This food only gives plus 4 fishing. And that's not quite enough. That's where Key's seasoning comes into play. It will buff any cooked food to increase the total number of stat bonuses it gives. So, by using Key's seasoning, the seafood pudding now gives plus 5 fishing. To get Key's seasoning, you just need to get 100 golden walnuts and purchase it at Mr. Key's golden walnut room for 10 key gems. It's pretty cheap and definitely worth it. You can also use it to buff food that gives luck and attack bonuses. After crafting the boosted seafoam pudding, just cast your fishing rod at maximum range while standing on the sewer pipe. You will then catch a prison box with an Iridium Crobus statue. You have to admit, the Iridium Crobus statue is pretty cool looking. Now, onto a much easier to get secret present. Chances are you have probably found this one in a normal casual playthrough already. The secret present in the secret woods. If you aren't sure, you can only access the secret woods after you have upgraded your axe three times. Then you can clear up this tree stump blocking the entrance. The secret present at this spot. The secret present at this spot is a really cool looking hanging wall plant. I just know I will be able to fit this in my house somewhere. The next secret fishing spot is this little pool of water in front of this spot. I would never have thought to fish here, that's for sure. It is important to note so you cannot get this present during winter because the water will be frozen solid. So come during any other season and collect your really cool Vista painting. Now, for another easy to find present, right here at the fountain in front of the community center. Who would think to fish here? And the drop chance for this present is pretty low. So some people might try to fish here and get stone and a bunch of other items and then give up. But seriously, the drop chance is really low here. So be patient and keep on fishing. It is most definitely worth it because the contents of this present is a trash can yeah it's a trash can not actually worth it but i guess it can be used as a decorative piece or if you're a completionist i am sure you will want to add this to your collection to the desert for our next secret fishing present this one is very well hidden you go down from the bus stop to this bench and then cross your fishing rod into the oasis down here. You can even catch fish here like the scorpion carp and the sandfish. But we are more interested in the present. The present is a pyramid wall decoration. It looks cool but I have no idea where I would put this in my house. This fishing spot is exclusive to the new beach farm. You just have to somehow magically know that there is a hidden tunnel here and cast your rod into the ocean. I played a total of 70 hours before I knew this tunnel existed. So well done on hiding this. This present contains a painting of a boat, but I think it's one of the best paintings in the game. It just looks so good. Placing this one in my house is going to be easy for sure. The last fishing present is at Willie's boat. You will need to complete the community center to get access to the boat room behind the door in Willie's fishing store. Just cast your fishing rod into the water and after a few attempts, you will get your very own life buoy that you can hang in your house. Luckily, we are at the boat that takes you to Ginger Island because the rest of the hidden secret presents are located on Ginger Island. I will say that the Ginger Island presents are really cool, so keep watching to see where you can find them. The first secret present on Ginger Island is at the Pirate Cove. To unlock the secret present, you will need to find quite a few golden walnuts and restore the beach resort right in front of the dock. 
It will cost you 20 walnuts, but I will highly recommend unlocking some of the other locations first, like the Ginger Island Farm. A pathway will open up to the right of the beach, and you will find a cool little cave here called the Pirate Cove. If you come on any even day, after 8pm, there will be a bunch of pirates here that you can talk to and play darts with. The darts minigame is really fun, and you can get some golden walnuts if you win. If you fish in the large pool of water, you will be able to catch a stingray, and more importantly, you can get a secret present. It's a statue of this frog guy. This would make a pretty nice outdoor decorative piece. Next to your farm on Ginger Island, there's a cave with this frog guy. Now we have a statue of him too. He will ask you to grow stuff outside your farm for a bunch of golden walnuts. You will need to grow melons, then wheat, and then lastly garlic. This will get you a total of 15 golden walnuts, which is quite a lot, so make sure to help him out. If you choose to fish in the green water in this cave, you can get a frog hat. The drop chance of this fishing present is very low, and you will get plenty of useless stuff like old newspapers and twigs, but be patient you will get that cool frog hat eventually. At the entrance of the volcano, you will find a pool of lava. If you use a watering can on the lava, it will create a narrow bridge that you can use to walk on. If you go to the right and down, you will find an exit and end up near some water. If you fish right over here, you can get a little squirrel figurine. Now don't do what I did. I didn't fish in this exact spot and I was fishing here for most of the day. I'm not sure, but I don't think you can get the squirrel figurine unless you fish in this exact spot. There is this hidden path over here that takes you to a spot with a hidden golden walnut. If you stand right up on this wall and cast your fishing line into the water on the other side, you can get another present. These things are very well hidden I must say. You will get another painting. A painting of a followish. Another pretty good looking painting. The final secret present that you can get is on floor 10 on the new volcano dungeon by the forge. You will need to cast your fishing line into the lava. So I fished here for 6 in-game days and I was unable to get the present. I think the drop rate is very, very, very low. I know it exists. I even tried fishing in many places on this floor but I was unable to catch it. I did manage to get tons of rubbish but that's not quite what I was looking for. If you are lucky enough to get this present, it will come with a painting called Physics 101. If any of you managed to get this painting, please let me know in the comments. I just could not get this one. And I really want it. I just couldn't fish anymore. I got here at 7am and left at 1am. Unfortunately, no luck. I have placed all of the presents in my little ginger island house. They look pretty cool. My favorites are the followish painting, the boat painting, and the frog statue. Which are you going to incorporate into your farm? Let me know in the comments below. I am curious at how I can use these creatively. Thank you so much for watching this video. It was really fun to find all of these, except for the volcano present. But I will keep trying and maybe one day I will get the physics 101 painting. But for now, until next time. What?